Researchers at UC Davis make this trek four times a year to check on the buoys out in Lake Tahoe. They measure the surface temperature of the lake. At the radiometers. And it plays an important role for NASA. We take our measurements and we compare them to these various uh, satellite sensors. If those readings are correct in Tahoe, then it serves as a reference point to other buoys in the ocean and let scientists know that their satellites are accurate. Using these uh, satellite systems to build up long-term records over many, many decades. And so if we want to match all of those systems together, we have to have some sort of reference point. So we're interested in it from not only the sort of near term of the weather forecasting, but really the, lo but really the longer term as it affects climate. These temperature readings are one of the most crucial aspects in forecasting and responding to hurricanes. And because of its size, location, and altitude, Lake Tahoe is a perfect spot to collect these readings. Because it is such a massive volume of water, um, small ponds tend to respond very quickly. Tahoe is more of a, a, a reservoir of what's happened over the last several decades. And the buoys also help show why there's been a drop in clarity over the last 30 years. They collect anything from fire, smoke, and ash to just um, winter dust from when we sand the roads. And all of that material basically falls on the lake and has some level of impact. Including the wildfires this summer, like the Caldor fire burning in the Tahoe Basin. So we have seen a direct result from that smoke of a loss of about five meters or 15 feet in the clarity readings. That's more of a seasonal issue, likely to be changed by winter storms and lake mixing. But the erosion caused by the fire is more of a long-term problem, as well as a rise in water temperature. The warmer it, it stays through the winter, the less likely it is that this warm layer on top of the lake will break up. Okay, so then you get this persistent warm layer and then you get less turnover of the lake and you get a change in the, in the biological activity of the lake. Eventually you could get conditions that were, where, where we certainly wouldn't see a nice lovely blue lake. The good news, the loss of clarity has plateaued over the last decade.